Yeah! Y'all know what time it is, Raging Rebels. Let's get it. What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if you would please get out there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Raging Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Raging Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be giving my final assessment, my final review for MK11 Ultimate. Let's speak on it. Now, with the announcement of the game officially not no longer getting support, I'm not going to call the game dead. When I named the title of the video I uploaded yesterday, RIP MK11, I didn't mean MK11 as far as the game. The ga of course, the game is not going to die at least for another six months to a year. People are obviously going to still play it. People that haven't played it for a while are going to pop in every now and then. People are going to still play it. The people that truly love the game are, continue, are going to continue to play it. There's still going to be an online tournament scene for it. I don't know so much about the offline scene, but the online tournament scene seems to still be doing well on Twitch, so I don't see that going anywhere anytime soon. So when I say RIP MK11, I mean RIP the support, the DLC, the the uh, the overhaul we were desperately hoping for that never came. I, I'm one of those people. That's why I never really truly deleted MK11. I was waiting for a big overhaul to come where they got rid of some things, and it, it ultimately never happened. So with that being said, man, I'm just going to give my final assessment on the... On the uh, on the whole game in its entirety, man. I hope y'all enjoy, man. So let's get into it. Now, there. Let, let's not act like that MK11 was just complete trash. That It did have its good moments. It did. It, it had great graphics. You understand what I'm saying? It had a lot of potential. It had, a, it had the foundation for a great game. It really did. There was a lot of potential there. And with the announcement of they're no longer going to support the game, it left a lot to be desired because a lot of people, even the people that truly do love MK11, as MK Tom Brady would say, absolutely love MK11, even they could agree, even the true diehards for MK11 could agree that this game just needed a few tweaks here and there and it would have been just fine. Having said all that, here are some of the things that also derailed the potential of MK11. We're going to start off with the characters, all right? Now... I don't know about y'all, and I have nothing against anybody that like these characters personally. Hell, to be honest with you, I'm a fan of these characters in their own setting. But there are just some characters that had, well, I ain't gonna say they absolutely had no business in this, in this game, but there are characters in this game that took up a slot from other characters that were more deserving. I will say that. For instance, Rambo. Nothing against Rambo, he was one of the guys I played with. Very easy to use, does a lot of damage. However, Though he does fit in MK11, you can't sit here and tell me that especially diehard MK, uh, MK fans would much rather see Rambo in this game over Thomas Verbata, a.k.a. Smoke. You understand what I'm saying? Another one. Don't mean to sound like DJ Khaled, but another character that took the slot of another character that was more deserving. Motherfucking Robocop. Who in the fuck asked for Robocop? All a motherfucker could do was shoot and command grab. That's it. Shoot, command grab. Shoot, command grab. Now, I didn't upload some videos on Robocop, but hey, you can even... Hey, I'm mad enough to admit You can go and look on my goddamn page and see. And see shit. I, that's all the fuck I did with him. I ain't even had a command grab. That's just what it is. He, You know what I'm saying? He just wasn't... Nothing against Robocop the movie or the character Alex Murphy or anything like that. But you can't tell me that you would much rather see... Uh, a character in this game like Robocop over a character like Reptile. You see what I'm saying? There's another character. He was also one of my mains. He was the second character I ever learned how to play with on this game. His first character I learned to play was Kung Lao. Yeah, here come, here come the Kung Lao crack loud jokes. Here they come in the comment section. Ooh. Another character that did not need to be in this game. I, I'm, I'm not upset that he was in the game, but he, he just took up a slot for a character he really didn't need to. He took up two, actually. At least two. The Joker. Though he does a lot of damage and the Joker finally got his time to shine in a fight game. He finally got his time to be good in a fight game. You cannot tell me that you would much rather have a character like the Joker in a Mortal Kombat game over a character like Ermac. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 you can't tell me you wouldn't. You understand what I'm saying? Or here's another one. What the fuck happened to Ash Williams? Never ram, I'm never gonna let y'all live that one down. What the fuck happened to Ash? Where is Ash? 
Fire me, Ash Williams. Y'all dropped the motherfucking ball with Ash Williams so goddamn hard, they had to give him his own motherfucking game, son. Hell, I still hit the chainsaws in the bike ground of the motherfucking uh, uh, advertisement of Combat Pack 1. Between Ash Williams and this bad motherfucker right here, Spawn, who y'all wasted, yes, I'm gonna say it. Though the motherfucker does plenty of damage, you wasted Spawn on this game. Especially when you knew he wasn't gonna support it for more than two years. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that later. You can't tell me you wouldn't have much rather seen you would have much rather seen a Mortal Kombat game Joker over Ash Williams or over a guy like Ermac. Sector, Cyrax, hell, I'll even throw in motherfucking Striker, Kentaro. Just to name a few. Speaking of motherfuckers also that didn't need to be in this motherfucking game. Cetrion. Who and what in the fuck is a Cetrion? Why couldn't this bitch stay Elder God? Or Goddess, whatever the fuck. We actually doing this now. It's 2021. We actually doing this. We're doing this? Yeah, we're doing this. What the fuck does she need to do in being the game? And then, bro. For all the jokes that's going to come from me being a, a, a Kung Lao player. Y'all can't fucking tell me that Kung Lao is any less annoying or any more annoying than this bitch right here. Nothing against people that play with him, well, that play with her, anything like that. But you can't tell me that this bitch Cetron ain't one of the most annoying, broken, I don't have recovery frames as bitches you have ever played against in this motherfucking game. In video game history, son. Damn. This bitch, this motherfucker come out literally. And, 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 and literally, and shows you why she's the elder guy. Because half the time you can't touch the bitch. You, 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 you just can't. If she ain't zony ass, she hitting you with that same one one two back one, back uh, back down one, whatever the fuck the combo is with the tentacles and shit. Tentacles tornado. That same four advancing one one, and then here come the motherfucking boulder. Here come the motherfucking earthquake. Or here come the tornado. God damn. You mean to tell me y'all put this bitch in the game? Over somebody like a like a uh, uh, like a sector and a Sarax, like I said earlier, like a reptile, like a smoke, like a ermac. Hell, at this damn right, I'd have took my right, yo. Hell, you the Kentaro, like come. <sighs> Moving on. Here's the last one, and, and, and here's another thing, too. Here's how y'all know I truly feel about this, too, because I actually play with some of these characters. Collector's one of them. Collector, i.e., a.k.a. Scarecrow from Injustice 2, didn't need to be in this game. That should have easily been fucking Goro, because he ain't nothing but a crackhead version of. Crackhead, Ashley Larry version of a Goro, Kentaro. Hell, y'all could have y'all could have fucked around and put Mutaro in and miss me with that goddamn. Oh, well, he got four legs. He'd be hard to program. Right? Yeah, he can't put in four legs, but you can put in six arms on the motherfucker. I don't get that. Didn't need to be in the game. Big damage character. To be honest with you, he grew on me. You understand what I'm saying? He ain't nothing but Outworld Kano. He ain't nothing but Kano for out for this actual Outworld. You understand what I'm saying? But he. <laughs> Him over somebody like Takeda? Kung Jin L. Everybody wanted that. Uh, Takeda is also one of them characters people would not have mind were asking for on day one. Where's Takeda? How y'all bringing a badass character like that and then just drop him off? Tremor. Come, bro. No way, man. N no way. So from right there, y'all dropped the ball right there and there just from the character select screen. Hell, yeah, Terminator's another one that took up a slot from somebody else that could have been in this damn game. Uh, Natara. Hell, Oriko. Hell, yeah, y'all putting him in all the damn movies while we ain't seeing him in the game. Hell, yeah, for all that, where in here's a question ain't nobody gonna ask on this motherfucking game going for. Where in the fuck was Cole Young? You put this son bitch in a movie, fake ass Johnny Cage in a movie, but you won't put him in the game. Not even skin, not even mention, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing. Come on, man. Come on, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. So y'all, y'all fucked up 
right then and there just from the character select screen. And look, that's not to say, I'm not trying to shit on how many characters y'all put on here. And this is just for combat pack. No, this is for every one of them. I'm not trying to shit on the work y'all did and on putting the amount of characters y'all put in here. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, is that y'all put in, yeah, y'all put in a bunch of characters, but y'all gave us also a bunch of characters that didn't need to be in here and wasted spawn. Who I think, honestly, honestly, this may be an unpopular opinion. Honestly, I would like to see Spawn already be a part of base roster, of course. I would like to see Spawn in the next Mortal Kombat because I don't feel that this game did a character like Spawn justice. For as long as people have been waiting for this motherfucker to be in the game. And Spawn is absolutely perfect for an MK, for a Mortal Kombat setting. Why not bring him back? What the fuck else is he doing? Ain't nobody making a movie of them. Ain't nobody making a live action series of them. Ain't nobody trying to go back on them with Netflix. You still got the 1997 version of them on Netflix. Ain't nobody trying to do nothing with Why not put him back in the game? Maybe that's the fanboy in me talking because I'm a big Spawn fan. I, I always have been one of my like top two favorite heroes, anti-hero characters ever. You know what I'm saying? Not just in this game, but but of all time of characters to watch in, 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 in different settings and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So you waste your Spawn and then you... You just messed up with all these damn characters. Look, again, I'm not I'm not trying to shit on the amount of work and the amount of characters y'all put in the game. But y'all didn't put in the characters people were willing to pay for and ask for. People had to damn near burn down Netherrealm Studios to get y'all to put this big head bitch and this circle head bitch in the goddamn game. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, that's... That just, that's just like... That's just like me complaining. That's just like me saying, man, bro, I'm... I'm trying to upgrade, bro. I don't really, you know, yeah, I got I got a lot of girls jacking for me, but that ain't, I don't, I'm not really feeling, I'm not really feeling that, bro. I want to, I want to, you know, I want a better looking chick. And then somebody come in and say, well, man, you got all these chicks on you, bro. I kill for all these chicks. Yeah, I got a lot of chicks, but it really don't make a motherfucking difference. It's all these motherfuckers look like 16, bitch, do they? What? But in closing on this part of the video, bro, like, that, that was something. From the character screen on, y'all messed up, man. Y'all messed up and dropped completely dropped the ball when there was no need to do so, man. No need to do so, bro. Another thing, y'all absolutely did not, y'all absolutely should have nipped in the butt early on. That should have never really been a problem, especially after year one. I understand the pandemic and everything like that, but let's not act like this game didn't come out a full damn near year before we even thought about a damn pandemic, all right? Bad, bad online service. I don't know what it is with these video games and these video game companies demanding you have internet to even turn your goddamn system on. And then you tell me play online with other people, interact with the world. And then you go out there and your motherfucking asses, it can't even move. You can't even move. It's so damn choppy and blocky. Now, did I have I had some great matches online? Of course, of course. I'm not saying it's all bad for a foot, but for the bad, for the service to be as bad as they were, and for damn sure to have people be able to lag switch and control the service sitting on their ass at their house. How the hell do the players have more control over the online servers than the damn developers themselves? Rage King will never know, nor will he ever under motherfucking stand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Moving on, man. Moving on. And this is a big one for me, bro. Another reason why I think this game got the, the criticism it got is, is the, the bad mechanics, bro. I, th there were so many bad mechanics that did not need to happen. For instance, Fatal Blow itself. Why was Fatal Blow bad? You look at a motherfucker like a ball. You look at a motherfucker like Aaron Black. You look at a motherfucker like Cetrion. You understand what I'm saying? Characters like that who have full uh, frost have full screen fatal blows to where you can't move. You can't move at all. But they have the free range to do whatever because you so afraid to be hit by a fatal blow that could happen at any minute. That that shit come on, bro. Come on, bro. Why was it why was the fatal blow system not balanced? The fatal blow system should have been balanced the way you have to be within a you have to be at least within neutral. To hit that bitch. Not that should that should have never been any such thing as full screen fatal blows. And I'll add another thing to the fatal blow system. The armor on fatal blows should have never been a fucking thing. That should have never been a fucking thing. Imagine 
throwing the hardest punch you can, leaving yourself expo fully exposed, trying to throw the hardest punch you can, getting hit right before that, before you even land that bitch, but yet somehow, somewhere in this game, you still land it. That don't happen. That don't happen. Usually when that happens, you get your ass knocked to the floor. Ask Mike Tyson when he was fighting Lennox Lewis. Oh, that's for my older, that's for my older boxing fans. If y'all want a, 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 a more, a more uh, uh, recent analogy, look what happened to motherfucking Deontay Wilder when he got in the ring with Tyson Fury the second time. And I'm a Deontay Wilder fan, but I can't lie. I done lost some fights in my day too, but that motherfucker got his ass beat. Cause he kept trying to do what? I'm trying to hit you with the, it's like trying to hit somebody with your fatal blow in this game. Every time you do that, you leave yourself exposed. If I hit you for that, you should be at least busy. Not just, oh, I'm just so strong, we're going to have armor on fatal blow, even though I'm within 20%, 20%, 30% of my life, you've been whooping my ass the entire fucking match. And I'm just going to hit these two goddamn triggers on the top of my controller, and it's going to save the day. Get the fuck. There should never be an instance to where you are that low on health, and you can pull the panic button. Come on, man. That's not fighting game. You should have been able to earn meter. The way meter should have worked is, I wouldn't have even minded if y'all just like, you know what, we gonna throw the casuals a bone and keep every, and have everybody meet us full at the time, at the first. At the beginning of the match, I mean. Sorry, I got tongue tied up. At the beginning of the match, if you really want to throw the people the casuals a bone, have everybody meet a field to start the match. And then throughout the match, fill it out by fighting, beating the opponent's ass. Not that re that getting it over time crap, bro. Come, come on, man. What you want to do? You gonna eat? You gonna chew their food and wipe their ass for them too? Damn. Come on with that, bro. The poke system, bro. Never in my life have I played a fighting game, let alone a Mortal Kombat game, with the mashing of down one, down three, down four, and for damn show down two with Jade. My lord, a noob sabot. My god. Never have I ever seen a game where you can perfectly block a motherfucker. Play play perfect defense and then guess what? You before you getting ready to attack, you attacking with your fastest mid uh, fastest mid all this shit. And all of a sudden this motherfucker just down fall down one about that more down two crush and blow half your life gone after that. What? Shit, excuse me. What in the actual hell? What in who okay this shit? That should have never been bro. Come that should have never even crossed nobody's mind, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Another one. Another one. The wake up system. I have never seen a more whack wake up system in any fighting game in my life now with full disclosure i'm not saying the entire wake up system was bad i like the robes because i can honestly see that happen in the fight you know you know what I'm saying? i can honestly see somebody rolling out the way or rolling to get back in the fight you know what i'm saying rolling out the way of the fight i like the robes the one thing i think y'all should have did with that wake up system shit is is there should have never been invincible frames off your ass. Like, I, there, there should never be an instance where I whoop you, I, I'm whooping your ass, knock you to the ground. Now I gotta back up because I done knocked you down. I made this analogy before in an earlier video and I'm gonna make it again. Imagine somebody like Mike Tyson or Deontay Wilder not hitting somebody, stunning their ass, right? They, they woozy. And then they managed to tell, instead they managed to tell him, go in, close out, close out, go in, go in on him. He tell him, back up, let him fall. What? Back up. You mean, to in order to get a midi in this bitch, I got to back up? What? I knocked him down and I got to be scared. I knocked him on his ass. And I got to be scared? Imagine, I know y'all didn't all seen Friday, right? The first Friday. Remember when Debo stole red ass and that motherfucker went flying? He, this my bike, punk, right? Knocked him smooth on his ass. Imagine Debo knocking him on his ass and then Debo, oh shit. Oh shit, he on his back. He finna get up and hit me with some investment. That, <laughs> that makes no goddamn sense at all, son. 
None. Imagine in the fight with Craig. Craig cracked Debo at the end with that brick, smacked him in the head with that brick, hit him with everything in the front lawn, then stole him one more good time, got up, see him on his back on his ground, like, oh, shit, let me, whoa, whoa. I just knocked him the fuck out. Let me back up, bro. Man, the hell no. I'm finna stand up over here and I'm finna growl on your ass like Godzilla did King Kong and this bitch, bitch. The fuck you mean, son? Get out of here, man. Come on, bro. Y'all cut. And then here's the thing, too. A lot of that shit was so easily fixable and a lot of that shit was just, hey, step back. Let's just... All y'all had to do was test that shit out for like maybe a day and a half. Y'all were like, yo, whoa, that don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. That, that should be... Look, I get what y'all tried to do with the whole... Because the big question is, right, in fighting games, what do you do after knockdown? How do people defend themselves after knockdown? I get it. I like the forward rolls, but that whole wake-up attack shit, that shit need to go. You understand what I'm saying? Honestly, what y'all should have did, instead of coming with shit like wake-up attacks and, and breakaway, what y'all should have did was just keep breaker. That's all y'all had. Nobody that had any kind of skill and knew three combos in Mortal Kombat X or any Mortal Kombat before this one had a problem with Breaker. It resets the neutral. Nobody gets an advantage. Okay, we resetting it. Who gonna get who gonna knock who on the ground now? You should have just stuck with Breaker. Why did you try to reinvent the wheel? I understand you tried to make things new, but something you don't change what works. You only take, use the 95 five rule. It's Tillman Fertitta, the owner of the Houston Rockets say. Use the 95 five rule. Take the 95% that you're doing right, add it in, and work on the 5% that you're doing wrong. Stop trying to focus on trying to reinvent the wheel with the 95% that works. No, focus on the 5% that, that, that ain't working. And you had some, baby. Goddamn. <sighs> finally. Finally. Well, next to finally. Frame data issues and the hitbox issues. God damn. The mashing and the poke. Well, I guess you can match the, the frame data and the, and the poke system. You can all mix that in with the same thing because there is no such thing as fucking recovery frames on Mortal Kombat 11. Jesus Christ. Where were the damn recovery frames? I was about to put an APV out for them bitches. No recovery frames whatsoever. And then on top of that, the hitbox issues in this game was so chronic. I'm talking about match altering chronic. I have never seen hitboxes this bad. Now I know I know fighting games got wacky hitboxes in it, but it was never this bad nor this consistent, man. Lord have mercy. It's like every other fight. You 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 got it, bro. Got the hitboxes on here, like Kung Lao missing his fatal blow if you hit higher than his foot. Bruh, I'm, I mean, people down to you when you hitting them with a mid. Like, it, that makes no sense at all. No sense at all, bro. Here's another thing that I think also put a quick end to MK11, bro. The gameplay was just absolutely slow. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, don't get me wrong. I enjoy a good Mortal Kombat 11 tournament and shit every now and then. Don't get me wrong. But overall, the gameplay in that game was, it, it was so slow, bro. Mortal Kombat, past Mortal Kombat, bro, you had to be on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what made it fun. It's just like, oh, shit. I don't got all this time to be doing all this thing. I got to, you know, you had to think, but you had to be quick on your feet, quick on the butt. On MKLF, bro, it's like we fighting in slow motion, bro. It, it, bro, it, we fight, it's like we in a damn juvenile song. It's like we in a damn juvenile song. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Do it slow motion for me. Uh, I like it like that, but we didn't like it like that. Speed that shit up. Speed it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Turn that bit like Dave Chappelle said on this motherfucking show. Crank it up. Turn them bitches up. Turn it up the gate. Turn up the speed, man. Turn up the speed, bro. We ain't got to be fighting at lightning speed, but damn, we got we can damn sure be throwing, you know what I'm saying, more than fucking, you know, more than fucking two punches every one second. Like, god damn. Come on, bro. Another thing, man, and here's a big one, the fucking story mode made absolutely no sense. It made sense, but it didn't make sense. What do I mean by that? 
I see what y'all were trying to do in the sense of taking the hourglass of Kronika and, and, and bringing back old fighters and pretty much at this point in time since y'all have so many timelines now opening up that, that different timeline paradigm now y'all can bring in whoever y'all want to take out whatever y'all want to but bro what was the point of that if all you were going to do was bring in characters nobody asked for no classic characters no true classic characters now they had classic characters on the game yeah but guys like but people like but characters like shiva and rain who y'all made us pay twice for now in the second and third games the second out of third games uh of mortal kombat at least uh didn't need to be paid for frost should not have been somebody we needed to pay for shiva fujin should have not been characters we needed to pay for they should have already been on the game sendell Nightwolf, Shang Tsung, these guys were already on MK9. They should have not been DLC for this game. They should have that it just that just that just didn't sit right with me. Why are you trying to sell base game? That's just greedy at that point. Look at how well MKX did with new characters y'all put on that. People gravitated to them very well. Do that. Make DLC characters. Make guest characters DLC. No base characters should ever be DLC in a Mortal Kombat game. That's just how I feel on it. Disagree with me if you want to on that. That's one thing y'all never gonna get me to y'all never gonna get me to accept. Base characters on this game and on past games should never be base characters from Mortal Kombat should never be DLC. Only guest characters should be. That's just how I feel on that. The false promises and the lack of communication, and I'm gonna end the video on this. As I alluded to with Ash Williams being promised never happened. The biggest meta change in fighting game history never really happened. The the big overall we needed for this game to truly continue thriving, not just barely limp along for the next year or two, but to truly thrive for the next year or two, never really happened. Combat Pack 3, what they kept hinting at, never really happened. And I'm not of the notion that, oh, they, they had to cancel it because of the, they had to cancel the Combat Pack uh, 3 because of the, the, the pandemic. Here's why I think that's complete bullshit. All right, I'm finna dispel that right now. Here's why. When the uh, what was it, season 24? When it was the second, when it was the second year of Mortal Kombat, back in December, right? When we got that combat cast, right for aftermath, I think it was. When oh, a combat pack two with Melina, Rambo, and Rain. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but with the with the combat leagues seasons. Did they add new ones or did they restart the cycle? If your answer is restart the cycle, can you please explain to me how the hell they ever intended for this game to be alive longer than two years? Because last time I checked, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, I'm pretty sure Guilty Gear Strive, when they get going, they're not going to have to repeat seasons if they intend to keep their games going for longer than two years. But you know who did? Another round studios. MK11 They restarted their rank seasons. You want to know why? Because they never intended for this game to go longer than two years. In my honest opinion, this game was nothing more than an elaborated, highly polished, at least graphically wise, at least graphic wise, cash grab. This was shit that was painted in gold and had diamonds sprinkled all on it. We got close and found out they were rhinestones. Then on top of that, after they dropped the, after they said they were going to restart the rank seasons, they they go silent. They say nothing. And then the only time we hear from them is troll posts and saying that the people that invested money in this game, people like myself who play who paid close to two hundred dollars for this game. On top of the skins, the, the combat packs, the DLCs, and all that other shit. We're self-entitled because we don't get, because we want our money's worth. On top of that disrespectful shit right there, bro. Because that's the difference between trolling people and being disrespectful. That right there crossed the fucking line, bro. There's, there's no explanation for that. And the fact that you would sit there and get pissed off at the people for wanting their money's worth. When they're already giving their money's worth for you. Just for you to shit in their laps right afterwards, man. I really don't see how the hell, I, I really don't see how the hell y'all can look in the mirror each and every day. Because for the same people, that's just like me getting mad at my Raging Rebels because they want to see me do a specific video because they honestly want to hear my take on it. 
why would I get mad at them when they're literally telling me what they would want to watch me to stay? They want to watch me. Hell, I got their attention. Why the hell would I want to divert? Man, get the fuck out of my face. I ain't doing that, Bill. There's no need for that. Oh, man, y'all self entitled. Don't you see I'm working hard? Fuck that. Now, if there's a video I don't agree to do with this, A, I don't do that kind of content, and I'll just leave it at that, respectfully. But to sit there and call them self-entitled when they help me get to the platform I'm going to, that's complete BS, man. I couldn't imagine doing that to my people. I couldn't imagine doing that to my Raging Rebels, bro. But unlike Ed Bone, Ed Poon, Ed Baboon, Ed Buffoon, whatever the hell you want to call them, I guess, you know, that's just how they roll over there, man. I, there ain't nothing I could get down with, but hey, whatever. It is what it is, but you know what? That's just my opinion. But with that being said, y'all, that's gonna be the end of my video, man. Uh, that's gonna be my final review on uh, Mortal Kombat 11 at the very end, man. Uh, the two-year cycle. If I had to give it a final grade, man, I'd have to give it a C minus, bro. I'd, I'd have to give it a C minus because there was so much potential, and the things that were wrong with this game were so fixable, so fixable. All they had to do was give a shit. That's all they give a damn, get it done. That's all it had to be. And right now, and if that was to happen, bro, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about RIP MK11 or at least the support of it. We would be talking about how fucking bomb this game is because this game, I will say it now, I will say it until the end of time until I see another game like it. This game, at least in this period of time, I'm not going to say going forward, but in this era, in this game's era, in the time it was out in this lifespan, this game should have been the absolute best fighting game to have been made to date. Bar none. Graphics-wise, fighting-wise, mechanics-wise. You had all the resources, all the time. Well, I ain't going to say all the time because we have to factor in the pandemic. But guys, they had time well before the pandemic to get this right. And last time I checked, the pandemic damn show didn't stop them for charging people who already paid $100 for the game, another $40 for the game, for five more chapters and three characters. This show didn't stop that. So I don't want to hear, oh, we got to put it all in the pandemic. The pandemic may have slowed down some shit, but it did not stop. It did not completely put a halt to anything and everything that this game should have been. There should still be support for this game. That overhaul for this game, all the fixable things I just I just named off should have all been fixable things. Honestly, the shit I just named off, honestly, bro, that's one big fucking patch. That's a 20 gig patch. And you're done with it. And then you won't hear motherfuckers like me or the majority of the MK community, OG MK community, talking shit to you. You want to know why that happens? Because you rob them of their cash. I should not play your game and feel like you robbed me. I should play your game and feel like, damn, I can't get enough of this shit. But I guess, man, I, I guess I need to go ahead and say it because a lot of people said in my comment section. So I'm going to go ahead and say it on video, man. Hey, boom, bro. I think it's just time for you to retire. Because it seems like you're just a senile old man who has the passion to do, to not make games anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that. You've given us, you've given us a lot. You have. I'm not going to discredit the legacy of MK that you have given us and injustice that you have given us and provided for us. I'm not going to discredit that at all. I will not disrespect your history. However, in this point in time, I think it's time you let it go and move on, bro. Because if MK11, if, if, the, if games are made, if games made from y'all are going to be like MK11, just made, forgotten about, and huh, throw them a little bone and we'll be all right. If that's the business model, y'all want to continue to go down and I can't fuck with that. I can't fuck with that. I don't give a damn how much I, I, I love the franchise. I don't get if that's how you going if that's how you gonna treat the very people that help put you in the position you at, bro. I can't fuck with that. Now, full disclosure, I really do hope that the next MK game or whatever game, whatever Nether Realm title comes out, I really do hope that it's badass. I hope every game afterwards is completely badass. I really do. But I'm not gonna get my hopes up. In Nether Realm, that's your fault. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about MK11, man. What did y'all think about the, the life cycle of MK11, man? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? If you did enjoy it, what did you enjoy about it? Uh, if not, what did you not enjoy about it, man? Let me know down in the comment section. Uh, that's my review for the MK11, man. Again, I give it a C- minus for a final grade because there was so much left to be desired, so many fixable things about this game that all they needed to do was just give a damn about they just didn't. Unfortunately, it's just, it's just the way life goes, man. So you can't be too mad about it. All you can do is accept it and move on. 
So with that being said, man, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, and more good content. Now, hashtag that enough says. See y'all next time, man. Do better, another round. Do better.